Here is the syllabus. Up top, you will have the CRN number. This is your specific course identification number. You have the location of the class. You have the semester, the times that the class will be offered. Under that, you have the instructor's name, and you have office hours. These office hours um, are for the entire semester. If you have a class during that time, you can make appointments. The appointments will be very limited. Most of the appointments will be via email. So if you cannot make the class, if you cannot make the office hours, you have to send me an email. course description I want you to read through that it talks about what the course is about the principles of biology are studied from the molecular to the cellular level in this course I will talk about the physical phenomena of life elementary bioenergetics and biosynthesis cellular and organismal reproduction and the gene concept we will also have labs. During these labs, you will work in a group of three, and you will turn it in a assignment together. The required material is some type of textbook. It can be the 10th or the 11th edition. If you can't afford either of those, you can rent the books, or you can just get a older edition. As long as it is by Campbell and Reese, it should be sufficient. Also, you're going to need a lab manual. These lab manuals are sold at the bookstore. Make sure you get the current one. Read through the student learning objectives on your own time. Again, course communication. Email me through your campus email or on Canvas you can inbox me a message. How will you be graded? You will be graded based on 75% lecture content, 25% lab content. We're going to use a standard grading scale. Anything from 90 above will be an A. 89 to 80 a B. 79 to 70 a C. 69 to 60 a D and below 60 is an F. Make sure you come to class on time, especially during exam time. If you arrive late for an exam, you will be docked points for coming late. So, for example, if you arrive 10 minutes late for an exam, you will receive 10 points off of your exam score. You cannot use electronic devices during the exam. Tardiness. Leaving class early or failure to come to class minimizes your opportunity to learn. If you cannot get to class on time, you will be docked points. Cell phones and all electronic devices are to be turned off during class. Electronic devices include, but are not limited to, computers, iPods, and MP3s. Don't get caught on your cell phone or... Your daily lab, I will give you a zero. Lab safety guidelines. Violation of food and drink policy will result in the grade devaluation at our discretion. Typically, a zero for that daily lab. So, basically, make sure you're being safe and careful during lab. Sometimes we have chemicals that can be carcinogenic can be corrosive, so be careful. 
Attendance. Attendance policy will be strictly enforced. Absences over four will result in a grade of W. If I cannot give you the W because the withdrawal date has passed, then I will give you a F for missing more than four days. If you have a valid excuse for missing a day, read through this portion on the Academic Catalog 2017 rules and make sure you get that appropriate, um, appropriate excuse to me. Detail grade rubric. Again, the lecture class is worth 75%. And this is how it is broken down. We have four units and a final exam. Each unit is worth 15%. We have within each unit a pretest and a post-test. Pretest is worth 2%. Um, the post-test is worth 38%. And the unit exam for that unit is worth 60%. The final exam again is worth 15 percent. The pretest. This is a test to probe a student's knowledge of the material to be covered. This should be taken before I cover the material. After you take the pretest, which is going to be 10 questions per unit, you will take the same 10 question exam. It is then called a post test. This is to be done after I have covered the material. The unit exam is an exam that will typically have between 50 and 100 questions. This is worth more points than a pretest and a post test. The final exam is cumulative. It will be all of the post-test questions. The pre-test and the post-test will be taken while you are not in class. You can do it on a computer, on your cell phone, wherever. It doesn't matter as long as you take it um, within the appropriate time slot. Let's look at the lab. The lab is worth 25% of your grade. The lab is broken into four units. Each unit is worth 6.25% of the total class points. Each unit might have two or three or four or five different lab activities. For unit one, you notice we have four lab activities. Each lab activity is worth 0.8125 point. That's almost one point. Also within the units for lab, you will have to type up your lecture notes and submit them through Turnitin. Turnitin is linked directly to your Canvas account. So while you're logged on to Canvas for my class, you will see a button to submit your typed lecture notes into turn it in and it is worth 48 percent of that unit let's talk about those lecture notes the lecture notes you will take in class you just write it on a piece of paper or a spiral notebook then you will have to type up those lecture notes once you type up those lecture notes on Canvas, you will submit it during the window for turning in. Pay special attention to this notice. If you miss more than four labs, you will not get any points for typing these notes. So be sure to come to class. You will receive a whole lot of points just for typing the notes and submitting it through turn it in. The lab activities. You will do the lab activities during lab, 
you will write it directly on your lab manual you will tear out the lab sheets you will scan it on a scanner turn it into a viewable PDF file one viewable PDF file and submit it via canvas if you do not have access to a scanner walk to the library and they have several scanners that students can use they also have an individual that will help you use the scanner if you are too lazy to walk to the library or you are handicapped then just download a downloadable app for your phone it is called cam scanner and it talks about it at the bottom of this paragraph cam scanner app can be downloaded to your Android or your iPhone please do not submit multiple files submit one viewable file if we cannot see the answers if it is blurry we will not grade it and you will receive a zero during the lab you will be grouped with three individuals we will ran randomly grade one of the three so it is imperative that you work together as a group we will not entertain you not liking an individual in your group we will still grade randomly one of those individuals if you do not get along with that individual and they do not submit then we'll give them a zero but if they submit some half done work you're still going to be graded for so ideally during lab you work together you write down answers together you talk about the lab you discuss it together because you will all receive the same grade read through the university policies on your own time finally we have the course schedule this is a detailed schedule of what you would do each day this is for Monday and Wednesday so make sure you look at your specific syllabus for your class um, finally this last statement in bold any possible extra point opportunity is a privilege if you're a violator of any classroom rules and policies such as attendance you will not be able to partake of any extra credit opportunity finally this last sheet is if you're an absent you need to have some type of documentation explaining why you were absent whether you was at a church service for um, some type of religious holiday you were at a funeral so you have an obituary just attach that the more supporting evidence you have the more likely I will be able to excuse your absence so get all the supporting evidence um, fill this sheet out and bring it to my office